Hello ladies and gentlemen, Teveron here and welcome back to some Slay the Spire. Today we're going to be doing an ironclad run, hopefully successfully, as I still don't quite feel like I have as good a grasp on the ironclad as I do the silent, but we'll give it our best shot. Ooh, updates, standard, embark on a quest to slay the spire, daily climb, a new challenge is available once a day. Compete with other players for the highest score. Well, I was planning on doing an ascension run. But what say we give the daily climb a try? Daily challenge, 3 hours and 42 minutes left. Uh, today's challenge, class the silent. Well, sorry then, I guess we're not going to be doing ironclad. Mod's Restless Journey, you no longer heal when entering new acts. Night Terrors, resting at campfires, heal 20% of your HP rather than 30. Vintage, the merchant's prices are increased by 25%. And start with one rare relic. Alright, this seems really interesting. Let's give it a shot, shall we? Alrighty. So, we get a bunch of gold starting out. I mean, it's not the best and we don't get to make a deal with the rotten well worm we're not on ascension mode so stuff isn't harder this time all right on the first floor uh, I've come to the strategy of wanting to hit as many combats as possible so that we can have more card selection we also want to hit a bunch of campfires I suppose we can fight some elites too we do want to watch our health since we're healing for less now uh, might be nice to hit a shop though, though that would make us miss two campfires here. Huh. Guess we can hit a shop early by branching off over here. Yeah, let's do this. Alright. Just unload. Yeah, not the best random rare relic to get, that's for sure, though that is the reason we want to hit a shop. Well, let's block it all. You are not long for this world, cultist. In fact, you're dead. Alright. Well, I like all of these cards. I like acrobatics more in a deck that has a little bit of energy extra than you're starting, which we don't yet. Well laid plans is great. Um, always great to have some AoE early on the first floor as there's multiple combats with a bunch of small HP creatures, so let's take the dagger spray for now. Alrighty, well, we want to not take damage. See, I think we're still going to need to do two block, yep. Even with the neutralize weakening him. Then this is more damage than a strike, so boom. Got his buff going, so we'll double defend and dagger spray, get a little bit of damage through. Alright, 17. We do not have the means to kill it. No need to block as he's not attacking. Alright, so 14. We cannot do 14. He's attacking and getting some block again. I think we're going to triple defend this turn. We don't heal as the silent, and we're getting less healing from the options like camps that we normally would have, so I think that's a smart thing. And finally, that was a very grindy combat there. Alright, uh, Blur is a top tier silent card in my opinion. I also like Malaise pretty well. Kind of meh on Poison Stab, but we're going to take the Blur. Alright, would have loved to have had Dagger Spray in our opening hand. Let's see, we want to pop both of these Curl Ups. Then we will just spam out our defense, which is not going to be quite enough. Two damage isn't bad. Dagger Spray will finish this combat. Huh. 
We don't have any discard synergy yet. This card is also good even if you don't have discard synergy if you have Unceasing Top. Escape Plan is great. It just draws you a card and potentially gains you block for zero cost. We'll take that. All right, Slaver, let's see what we get. Well, no block, we did get a strike. So we need to block seven, Survivor takes care of that. Dagger Spray is more damage than a strike. Okay, we're weakened, that's unfortunate. But then again, so is he. Make sure we block all of that that's incoming. All right, 12 this time. Let's see, we'll blur, neutralize. Should mean we only have to play one more defensive card. All right, seven, we cannot kill him. We're two damage short. I could have drank the energy potion, but I'd rather save that for elite. All right, that is unfortunate. Again, two damage off. And we're going to take two here. Still four damage over the first three combats isn't bad. Didn't even need to play that escape plan. Just can't help myself, I guess. Accuracy, we don't have any shivs going yet. We got a card that can give us shivs. But again, I always tend to like a malaise. And since we're going to be fighting elites, then malaise is even more important for us. Well, let's see what we can spend our 459 gold on. <laughs> Noxious Fumes is great. Uh, Runic Dodecahedron is not very good. Grimplin Horn, however, is. Matroshka is also excellent. We can't buy them both. Terror is a great card as well. I think we're going to go with Matroshka plus Noxious Fumes. And that takes most of our gold. Uh, we could get another Dagger Spray, but I think one is enough. Go here, we're definitely going to be upgrading. Well, the only question is what? Malaise is a good target for upgrade, then again so is Neutralize. Um, I think we'll go with malaise. That way we can still get minus one strength and weak, even if we have no energy in our pool. All right, elite. Goblin Knob would really have loved to have had malaise in this opening hand. As it is, though, we've got all the block in the world, so we're going to play a bunch of it. And thanks to Blur, it'll stick around. All right, Noxious Fumes for sure. Also nice that it's a power and doesn't trigger his Enrage. There's Malay, so we could Malay's for four, which would net him minus two strength and a few turns of weak. Or we could just deal a bunch of damage. It's only dealing six, we can actually decrease that to four, seems fine. Yeah, we'll just tank this. All right, still just six coming in. Thanks to our weak. Glad we have the weak on him. Even with that, he's dealing 15 now. Good malaise for two, escape plan, nah. Unless we're very unlucky, he should be dead this turn. And he is. Alright, that was fairly good. So we get a random colorless card at the start of each combat. That's quite good. Toolbox is an excellent relic. Uh, dash, for sure. Equal to two defends plus two strikes for half the cost. Uh, yep, we want to continue to go through the combats. Ah, uh, that is a hell of a colorless card to randomize. 
I wish we could randomize Apotheosis all day long. Thank you very much. All right. All right, that's very good. So 12 coming in. We're going to want to play all of these, and then we'll just Dagger Spray. Hmm. So we could do minus 3 or minus 4 and 4 weak, which would take this to 12. And then the weak is 25% less. So we would be taking like nine. I don't think that's a very good idea. Let's dash. That gets him to split, so we'll deal some more damage. All right, so two at 23 seems fine. No use in playing malaise as all this stuff gets wiped out when he splits. Dagger spray is awesome with two enemies there. Let's put up all the block, even though we don't actually need that much. And they are dead. Um, I like After Image quite a bit. Also like Dagger Throw. Deflects great in the right sort of deck. I guess we'll go for after image for now. Would love to pick up a second blur at some point. Oh my god. One of the best relics in the game. Now we know what kind of cards we want to be picking, folks. Lots of energy makers and lots of zero cost effects. And we're going to get two random attacks upgraded. Dash and neutralize are awesome. Let's fight another elite. All right, Dark Shackles. Enemy loses nine strength for the rest of this turn. Exhaust. Not super great. Um, I think we're going to pass here. We've got three turns to set up. We want to get our Noxious Fumes going first. Uh, yep, get the neutralize, or not the neutralize, but the after image going as well. Go ahead and neutralize. Stack some weak on there, and we'll malaise as well. Maybe should have went for the whole boat on the malaise. Uh, there's our noxious fumes, excellent. And we want to pop him. There we go. Right, boom. Definitely want to defend. Uh, two damage is fine. Not that we could have really prevented it. All right, well set up now. Don't really need to play Dark Shackles as it's not attacking. It'd just be a waste. All right, dash and dagger spray. I'm going to prevent all the damage this turn. Our poison's working on him, so that's great. Always good to have a Noxious Fumes against this particular guy. That way you don't have to worry about his debuffs getting you to the point that you can't actually finish the job. And just need a little bit of damage. That's not quite enough. Let's Dark Shackles this turn. Uh, unceasing Top Triggered. I went ahead and hit the thing. Forgot that we had it. Ah, uh, there we go. Bronze Scales, also quite a good relic. So, these aren't really in the vein of things that we're looking for now that we have Unceasing Top, so we'll skip. We'll go here. I think we want to rest on this one. Since we're going to be healing for less. All right, we've got 17 incoming. So after image, we got 
another Dark Shackles. That may actually be useful here. So we'll Dark Shackles there. We want to Noxious Fumes. And I guess we'll just defend to block everything. Let our Noxious Fumes start to work. Not to mention our uh, Bronze Scales there. So break that. We can actually kill him with the Poison Tick. Defend to take no damage and we'll go ahead and malaise for one. All right, that's a pretty good turn there. Uh, Got to remember about unceasing top, though we only have one zero or two zero cost cards in in the deck so far. All righty. Um, I don't really want to replace any of these with the swift potion, so. In the interest of getting a little more energy, I think Flying Knee is a good pickup. Then we want to upgrade. What do we want to upgrade? Upgrading after image just makes it innate. Blur goes up to eight block. Noxious Fumes goes up to three poison, which is actually quite a difference as far as dealing poison damage. So I think we're going to go ahead and upgrade Noxious Fumes. Then we do want another combat. Panache, every time you play five cards in a single turn, deal 10 damage. That's quite good. After image first, though. Don't know if we can manage to play five cards yet. With the setup we currently have. Um, yeah, I overblocked there. Wasn't thinking quite through. Uh, however... The potion doesn't trigger the curl up, so. There we go. And dagger spray for the finish of that. Concentrate is excellent with the top. Just discard our whole hand and draw some cards to play. Uh, 53 is probably enough health here. What do we want to upgrade? We want to upgrade concentrate. Uh, actually, no, it doesn't really matter because it doesn't give us more energy, just costs us less cards. So... Let's upgrade Flying Knee. See if we can get this. Top Train rolling. Add X random colorless cards into your hand. A lot of colorless cards are zero cost. However, this is sort of a setup turn, so... I think we want to blur plus malaise. Neutralize too. Alrighty, so. Dagger spray. Flying knee. We don't need the defend. He's not attacking this turn. Concentrate. After image. Great. Get our unceasing top value. Uh, let's get some energy. Dash. Fumes, and that was a decent turn. 24 incoming, well, escape plan. Defend, survivor. Concentrate, excellent. We want a bunch of concentrates, honestly. Neutralize, yep, great. And no damage. Sweet. It's a shame the poison doesn't carry over when he splits. Well, dash plus dagger spray is the best play this turn. All right, two at 47. Escape plan. I do think we want to blur. Uh, let's gamble. Let's see what we can get with transmutation. Another transmutation. Madness is okay. Uh, maybe we should have just dealt a little more damage this turn, but 
We made our choice. We have to live with it. All right, 16 incoming. Luckily, we've got 11. So with the after image, that's going to be enough. And in the turn, I want to kill this guy quickly because he adds wounds to our deck. Um, can we split you? 9 down to 30. No, we can't. We can't do quite enough damage, so we definitely want to survive her here. And then we'll dash this one and trigger that one split. Dagger spray, please. There we go. Excellent. Let's do that. A little madness for the random, and it's dagger spray. Quite good. Uh, we want to kill these two. Ah, concentrate. Excellent. Concentrate is so good with unceasing top. All right. And two one hit point slimes. Shouldn't be a problem. All righty. Hmm. Wraith form is honestly not bad either. It's just the three costs to play it out the first time. Another after image isn't bad. I think we're going to go with Wraith form though. And we would love to have an energy relic. And... I actually think Runic Dome is the better of these two energy relics. Uh, since we can pretty much just remember what the enemies do, what their patterns are. Uh, this gives strength, but as I always tend to take this when I see it, I'm going to take the Philosopher's Stone just for some variety. All right, second and third floors, we want to hit as many campfires as possible. We've got a good amount of gold, so we want to hit shops too. The most campfires we can hit on this floor is three. I honestly think we probably want to start dodging elites, uh, simply because we didn't heal after the boss fight. Plus, we've got our relic set up. We really don't need any other relics to make this run work. So let's go on... This route here will hit more question marks this way. Mind Blast is a good random. Oh, should have played the after image. Got tunnel vision there. Well, let's strike, strike, strike. Concentrate to trigger unceasing top. Strike. Strike, and we broke through all of his armor on the very first turn. How cool is that? Oh, not enough energy for Noxious Fumes, sadly. All right, 12. We can easily deal with that. All right. Well, we could Wraith Form here. Let's escape plan first. Actually, yeah, let's Wraith Form. Defend Malaise. I'm going to take a little damage. And he's going to die as well from our Thorns. Cloak and Dagger Plus seems to be good in our deck. Uh, in fact, a Shiv deck is an excellent combination with Unceasing Top, so we'll take that. Ooh. Do we want to lose max HP for Bites? We haven't removed any strikes from our deck yet, and Bites are pretty good. Uh, with the lack of healing on this daily, I think this is a good choice. Would much rather have the Blood Vial where we could get the the transformation without losing the max HP, but we'll take this. All right, shopkeep, what have you got going on? Well, I don't know if we're hardcore enough on shivs yet, as we only have one shiv card to go for accuracy. However, blur is always a great pickup. Uh, madness isn't bad either. 
but I think we're going to go ahead for card removal and remove a basic defend. Don't want to remove our bites since we just took that deal to get them. All right, well, we certainly don't want decay, so I guess we're losing 12 HP for 5 max HP. All right, these dudes. Well, blur. So apply some weak there. We definitely want to noxious fumes. And survivor. And I think we need to start dealing some damage, so let's let's bite for the little bit of healing. Could have gone with the flying knee too for extra energy next turn. Do we have time to wraith form? I actually don't think we do. So let's do these things. Right, we should get him killed. These guys randomly attack two to three times and then flee. So looks like two times is hit on both of them. That is a shame. No need to after image here. Well, he's dead, so maybe we can get real lucky here and get this guy. So we need to deal 22 damage. Uh, well, bite for sure. Let's escape plan. We got another bite. Excellent. Then we're going to pitch these block cards, which he's dead anyway from the uh, poison. But I want to kill him on my terms and get a little bit of healing. Oh, it didn't apply the healing for the killing blow. That's sad. Um, an unupgraded cloak and dagger. Uh, no. All right. What do we want to upgrade? Wraith form deals five damage. Yep, we'll go with that. Also makes it more likely that I'll be willing to play that out. Oh, we get to make a bet. So, he is trying to avenge his pet noodles. Do we bet on the murderer? Or do we bet on the owner? Let's go for the big payoff, shall we? And we win! Awesome! Lots of gold! Alright, just continue pressing on. We do have Matroshka, so we're about to get ourselves two more relics here. This guy... Well, we definitely want to Sadistic Nature since it's free. Malaise is going to do good work here where he's ta attacking multiple times, so... Let's do that. Yeah, that's a big reduction in damage, though we're still taking nine. Hopefully our bites can help us out with that. Well, after image, for sure. And we might as well roll over some blocks since we've got the available energy. All right, well, escape plan. Noxious fumes, for sure. Helps with his malleable. Cloak and Dagger. Uh, let's concentrate. Want to draw some bites. Take a Wraith form with all this block. Ah, oh, there's a bite that we can't play. Alright, well, neutralize. Play out both these blurs that I'm going to concentrate. Still want to draw some more bites. There we go. Yep, let's heal ourselves up. Mm, nope, just going to pass. Hope to draw a bite for next turn. Of course, I forgot he's going to kill himself on our thorns. Um, well, Shets is good in a Wraith form deck if we keep picking up 
skills. However, we're more unceasing top than wraith form, to be honest, so let's take a slice. See what our relics are. Singing Bowl, that's excellent. We're going to be refusing a lot of cards. Bag of Marbles is even more excellent. Vulnerable on the first turn lets us deal a ton of damage. Alright, well this question mark was a combat, unfortunately. Alright, two vulnerable. Well, they've already got vulnerable. Uh, we definitely want to start out with uh, After Image. Escape Plan. Slice, because it's free. We need to try to kill this guy. Since he is vulnerable. And we can't quite get there. Feel like we're going to be drinking our block potion this turn since there's a ton of damage coming in. We're going to go ahead and stack some more vulnerable on this one. And we are going to drink this block potion. Still going to take a bit of damage. Rainy. Well, that finishes him off. That's good. I think we want to survive her as much as I would like to play the Noxious Fumes. Pitching it. And then we're going to Blur plus Malaise. Alright, no need to worry about blocking this turn. However, we can play out our Wraith form. Uh, we do want to heal. Keep some weakness going. Alright, so... We'll Cloak and Dagger, as it's 8 damage. Then we'll Blur, just to keep our stuff rolling over, and we're going to concentrate those away. There we go. Bites, please. Take that as well. There we go. Bites. Heal us. Yep, sure. Concentrate. Yes, yes, yes. And that, as they say, is that. Uh, yeah. We'll take a slice plus. Alright, this is a bit of a dangerous combination. Luckily, they're not attacking this turn. Though, this is going to apply an effect that makes it whenever we play a non-attack card, we get a daze in our deck. Choose a skill from your draw pile and place it into your hand, Exhaust. Well, let's see what we want. I think we want Concentrate. Let's unload. Kill this Cultist first as he keeps getting stronger every turn after he buffs himself. Flying knee. Uh, let's do the blur just to roll some stuff over, then concentrate. Another blur, that's great. Survivor, sure. Yep, that stopped our little top going on there. Should be able to kill this guy this turn though. Do want to play the after image even though we're going to get a daze. There we go. He is taken care of now. Going to avoid putting more dazes in our deck for the moment. Alright, well. And then we'll go ahead and take a daze for this malaise. Alright, 11 incoming. Well, let's knock just fumes. We'll bite. We'll slice. The dazes stop us from triggering our top. Though there's not a lot we can do about it in this fight. Let's do that. Uh, let's throw this poison potion as this is a bit of a problem fight for the build we've got going on. Alright, I think we need to play Wraith Form here. Alright, this is a bit more like it. 27 coming in, really. Uh, blur and defend for sure. And I think we need to do that. That helps. Uh, we'll defend. 
Go ahead and concentrate. Bite. That helps. Please, no days. Ah, uh, darn it. Well, we're taking five. We healed for some there, too, though, so that kind of cancels it out. He's dying. Would like to get something we're not going to get, uh, a bite, so we'll go ahead and finish him off. Uh, yes, another concentrate, please. And do we want to straight up buy an apotheosis? Seems okay. Uh, Viara would give us starting with one strength. We could guarantee a power would be in our hand to start off with. We definitely can't afford all of these. But I just can't pass up an apotheosis. And we will definitely be upgrading that to cost one. Then the next campfire we're going to heal at. Dodge that elite. No need to risk it. So nothing going on here. We want to knock this guy out of the air or straight up kill it if we can help. If we can. Uh, let's start with this. Dash. Uh, swift strike. Bite. Bite. So that knocks him out of the air. So now we do full damage. Sweet. He's gone. We'll slice and concentrate. And concentrate. Yup. Let's do this. Don't have the debuff yet, thankfully. Would love to have an ancient potion to prevent it from going through. Unfortunately, we don't. Apotheosis for sure. And 12 coming in. That pretty much prevents it. We'll take one here. Let's weaken you some, shall we? Hmm. I think we're just going to play everything. I really hate this guy when we've got unceasing top. Just stops us from doing our thing. And actually... Gosh, we almost got him. Darn it, we'd healed quite a bit this fight too, but we're going to take a ton of damage here. If we could have managed to have killed him that turn, then... Well... We're not going to get that heal for whatever reason. I guess that's sort of in line with when we hit an enemy with thorns or that explodes with the killing blow, we don't actually take that damage. So I guess that has to be that way to be consistent. Uh, we're going to take the HP here. And unfortunately, we do have to rest here because we ended up taking all that damage on the penultimate turn. And the champion. We should be able to take the champion. Uh, artifact? Sure, he does debuff us at points. Very tempted to just malaise for five here. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So we'll take five, but we'll also deal five. We'll be better set up for the rest of this fight. We want to get our Noxious Fumes going as quickly as possible, too, if we can. All right, well, we're going to Wraith Form. And we're going to Bite and then Concentrate. Ah, uh, Apotheosis, excellent. And take a little bit more damage here. All right, after Image... Yep, you know, just kind of spamming cards as sometimes we are wont to do with the silent. Love some more energy next turn. Love a noxious fumes. Yep, you know, out of energy. There we go. Don't need the survivor. We may be able to keep our blur going forever if we get kind of lucky. We want to play that for sure. Concentrate. Excellent.
We had full energy there for a second. All right, that was a hell of a turn, wasn't it? All right. Let's get our top rolling again. Concentrates make this so good. If we had a thin enough deck or a high enough concentration of concentrates, we could go infinite. All right, well, he purged everything and buffed himself up. I really don't think it's going to be enough to save him, though. We can play our whole hand here, so let's do that. And not a zero cost. We have healed ourselves almost to full during this fight. That is so great. Blur, we want to keep that going. Just spam it all. And unfortunately, we're not able to finish him off, but he should be dead next turn. All right, dash. We'll concentrate away the survivor there. And there we go. And who cares if we don't heal to full after the boss fights, we heal ourselves. So, in Venom's okay. I don't want to take too many powers if we end up facing the Awakened One that is kind of a death sentence. I don't think we need bullet time, and the cannot draw is not synergistic with our top. If we were going to take anything, I guess it'd be Alchemize. Getting potions is great, so let's do that. Alright, we don't want Snack OI. That is a death sentence for our deck. Runic Pyramid is not great either. And Lizard Tail is not an awesome relic, but I think it's our best choice here. So let's take that. Okay, so we can hit three campfires and dodge all the elites on this path here. So we'll take that. Our bosses were showing up as Danu and Dekka. Oh, I was wondering why our Apotheosis isn't upgraded. It's because it is a toolbox Apotheosis. All right, so I think we still play it. Then Dash helps out with a lot of that incoming damage. It's okay, though. We heal. Could have blazed, I guess, for one each. So Wraith Form needs to be played. Free Alchemize for sure. Block Potion. Excellent. Let's do the Defend. And we'll take two damage. That's fine. Uh, we're going to play our other Apotheosis just in the interest of helping out our top. Heal some and block some. Alright, burns are a problem for us. Kind of puts the kibosh on our whole thing. Um, well, I kind of did that wrong. I should have played Concentrates, but it doesn't matter. Our Wraith Form did the job. Mm, no thanks. Swift Strike. Blur. Uh, let's kill this. Heal ourselves up. I think we want to malaise for the full boat here. Swift Strike, Slice, Slice, Concentrate. Yep, after image is excellent. And that's all we could do. Summoning more minions, it looks like. Wraith form for sure. Ah, uh, lucky on the hit there. Still not quite enough to take it out. Taking two damage. But we're hovering right around max health thanks to our bites. Especially Apotheosis Upgraded Bites. That's awesome. 
All right, take another two damage. Uh, dash, bite, survivor for no reason at all, really. Always want to alchemize, regen potion, that's useful. Well, the minion's dead, so we don't need to worry about that. We may, able, may be able to kill the bruiser this turn. And we are. Awesome. Choke, choke, choke. Normally, I would like the choke. I don't think I like the two costs, though. I think we're in the market for a free deflect. And we do want to hit a shop since we have quite a good supply of gold. Do we want a tiny chest? No. That's horrible. Another escape plan wouldn't be bad. Blind would be awesome in our deck, honestly. Footwork would be great too. I think our play here is footwork plus blind. So we'll take that and leave. Also would have liked to remove a card, but I think picking up those two are more valuable than removing a card in that position. All right, Serpent. Well, we definitely want to start off with a Wraith form. Our toolbox was nice enough to give us a Flash of Steel, which is one of the better colorless cards. Do we want to blur? I think we do. Also, probably want to pop this block potion. We're generating so many potions, we need to make room for what the uh, Alchemize gives us this turn. Alright, Apotheosis for sure. There we go. We might actually want to remove Dash if given the opportunity at some point. It is a very good card, but not really in line with what our deck's trying to do. Yep, apply that weakness. Let's just concentrate those away. Alright, we got this thing a-rolling. Full health. Awesome. Alchemize. Sure. I can't play that. We got a ton of block and almost a dead opponent. Gonna do that. Get ourselves a ton of energy. Try to draw our attack cards, which we did. Awesome. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Do we want another flying knee? No, but we do want a prepared. That helps to empty cards we don't actually want to play from our hand. Alright, so we want to embrace Madness. Yep. Alright, this could be a bit of a problematic fight. Uh, Apotheosis for sure. Finesse, yep. Wraith Form helps. So let's do that. These Thorns could be a problem. Of course, we do have an upgraded Noxious Fumes as well. We want to Blind. Excellent. It's all enemies. Concentrate. Uh, let's discard the bites as we're almost at full health here. Okay. We've got exactly enough block for what's coming in. We may want to use a potion this fight. Let's see. Let's neutralize you, as I would like you to stop adding dazes to my deck. I think we're going to use the energy potion here. Ooh. Fire potion's nice. Let's shiv exploder boy. Madness for nothing, I guess. Sure. It's a little sad. Concentrate. Awesome. Recycled our deck already. Um, Let's malaise one of these. 
And that's it for this turn. Fumes for sure. And we want to kill this guy, so let's slice. We're going to use this fire potion. We've got enough potions coming in that it's not a big deal. We've got enough block. We can afford to dash here. See if we can get a little lucky. Nope. Well, with our block as it is, that's fine. And doggone dazes. All right, well... Prepared. Gets rid of a daze for us. Oh, it's upgraded, so get rid of two cards, I guess. Um, rid of the dagger spray. Hmm. Don't really have the block this turn, so we'll just end it. For incoming, sure. Escape plan, blur. So now we can afford to bite and heal a little bit. Let's concentrate. And that is that. Not too bad. Ended at full health. Uh, no thanks. Give us some HP. Almost back up to our original starting HP. We could forego one campfire and hit another shop. I don't know if we'll have enough gold to remove the dash from our deck, though I would like to. Let's see what our gold looks like after these next couple of encounters here. Alright, 11 incoming. We definitely want to wraith form. Get that whole party started. Flash of Steel on you. Deflect. We do want to blur. And probably malaise one of these that doesn't have artifact on it. Uh, let's get some poison going on you, Spirit Guardian. Alright, blind incredibly useful here, except it's not upgraded so it doesn't hit all of them. That is unfortunate. Still, let's pop your artifact, shall we? Madness. Uh, let's go with Blur. Defend. We want all the defense we can get. Alright, Alchemize. Strength Potion. That's helpful. Uh, sure. Going to take a little. Alright, so we're going to take eight when we kill this guy. Let's do that. Let's neutralize since your artifact's gone now. Uh, let's prepare. I want to get a little bit of block first. Um, we'll lose a bite. Let's play a madness, so that'll be zero cost for the rest of the thing. Looks like we killed it with our random there. That's okay. We should be able to heal ourselves back up. Slice. Excellent. After image. We've got 18 incoming. We may want to drink our regen potion here. Let's do that. Alright, Apotheosis, finally. Um, yeah, heal ourselves. Guess there's no guarantee that we'll draw defensive cards, so let's concentrate after playing those. And more energy, awesome. You're gone. Uh, sure. We've got enough block to afford to kill you if we can draw a kill card, or we can just, you know, wraith form you to death, which works too. Uh, none of these, thank you. Alright, 87. I think we're at the point that it's costing 125 because of the increase to remove a card. So there's one more combat, i.e. or two more combats. I think there's a chance we could get to the point that we could remove a card and get rid of dash. Though honestly, it's not that big a deal. We do want to upgrade something. Probably blind, to be honest. Apply too weak to all enemies, especially since our boss on this floor is Danu and Deka. So let's do that, just so that we'll have it before Apotheosis hits. 
Sadly, Matroshka is exhausted, but Bag of Preparation is fine. Do we want to try to remove Nash, or do we just want to hit a couple more, an extra campfire? I think I'm going to go for the campfire. Honestly, Dash isn't that big a deal. Most of the time we can actually play it, so let's upgrade. Probably b would be worth it to make After Image an 8 or to make Alchemize 0. Uh, footwork for 3 decks. Yeah, that's something I can get behind. All right, these dudes. Well, blind is exceedingly useful here. We've got two of them. Let's play our upgraded one. We'll probably play both of them, to be honest. Okay, we've got a lot of attack coming in, and we do need to heal as well, so let's do that. Try to spread it out just a little bit. Survivor. We'll pitch one of these. Let's concentrate all that away. Neutralize you. Get our block up. So now we're good as far as damage incoming. Kind of a pity we couldn't play Wraith form there, but it's okay. Apotheosis, always. Tons of damage incoming. Well, there's not a lot we can do about it. Maybe we could drink a strength potion. Try to get some of these dead. Let's see. There's a lot of damage there. Another bite, sure. Escape plan. Madness for no effect. Uh let's malaise you for two. And that's all we can do. Taking a little bit here. All right, footwork's gonna help. Um, see what we can get free. Cloak and dagger's awesome. Let's kill you. Get you out of the picture at least for the moment. Which there's a good chance that we can kill these over the next two turns, especially with our strength potion. Alchemize. Ooh, Artifact. Ancient Potion is good. One left. Can we do it? We cannot, sadly. Could drink a card draw potion. We'll save it. Unless we get exceedingly unlucky, this one should be dead. Mm, yes, indeed. And we even got the full heal from those there. Let's concentrate. And kill it. And we even got our strength potion replaced. Awesome. Uh, yeah. I will definitely take a third concentrate. Alright, Apotheosis in the opening hand is very welcome. Let's do that. All these upgraded madnesses. Uh, well, I guess we will for sure make Dash and Blur free, won't we? Um, let's get rid of this, just to make room, uh, that's fine. Want to play our hand, well, we want to hit something that has a cost, so let's prepare. Alright, let's get rid of you, and you, so that Madness will hit Blur. We are so close to going infinite with this deck. Concentrate? Nope. Oh well. That was a hell of a first turn. Uh, yes. 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 Just doing my thing. Hello, Concentrate. Ah, oh, Wraith Form. Why'd you have to end our good time? Alright. Good chance we've got him this turn. Survivor away this defend. 
and wraith form again. Doggone ya. Alright, free dash is best dash. Not that it really matters. Since we healed to full and our enemy is dead, do we want a dex potion? I think I'll gladly take a dex potion over a second ancient potion. Do we want another prepared? Uh, no, we'll take the HP. Uh, we don't really even need gold, so let's just take a hundred and be on our way. Do we want to try to fight an elite? Honestly, we're probably a death machine now, so let's go ahead and get ourselves another relic. Free heal, sure. Apotheosis, though. That's the play to start off with. Um, Dagger Spray. Cloak and Dagger. They've got a lot of damage coming in. You are lowest on health at the moment. Uh, sure, we'll play our bandage up. We do want to survive her. And we'll malaise you. Gonna take a little damage here. I think it's fine, though. Good chance we'll just heal to full as the fight goes on. Wraith form. Probably should have played Blur and then Madness there, honestly, now that I think about it. Playing a little too quickly there. They say that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Second strength potion. That should be great on the boss. Yeah, we're going to have to play this out if we want to get our deck rolling, so let's do that. Didn't quite work. All right, let's take some more damage. Let's not kill ourselves here, please. Got to play a little bit smart. All righty. I think we need to pop a strength potion. This is getting a little bit dangerous. So we can pop our second strength potion and kill this guy. I think we need to do that. Sadly, this burn keeps us from activating Unceasing Top. Maybe we shouldn't have taken this combat. <laughs> do that. Let's concentrate. Yes, please. More bites. I'll take a dash, too. Not a burn, though. All right, well, we got out of that, though our health is quite low. Uh, that is a useless relic at this point. We'll take the health. And sadly, we're going to need to rest to make sure that we can win this. And hope for a good opening hand. I think they've switched these guys' position. Wasn't the Deca in the back before? Huh. All righty. So, footwork for sure. Let's madness something. Survivor, that's fine. We want to stack a lot of block this turn if we can. Two artifact, great. I don't think these guys debuff, but just in case. Uh, yep, blind. Get rid of their artifact. Survivor for sure. Let's pitch prepared. We're going to defend and then malaise for one. Concentrate. Awesome. Flying knee. Madness. Bite. Yeah, concentrate. Let's keep this party going. Blur. Roll it over. Ah, uh, it's over. Still an okay first turn. Not the most busted that we've had. Wraith form for sure. We'll concentrate. Alchemize. Oop, yep. Strength potion. Let's go ahead and just drink all our potions. No need to hold them. There's nothing to look forward to at this point. Except our glorious victory. After image. That's a ton of damage. Luckily, we don't really care since we have a ton of block too. So let's go ahead and neutralize you. 
Ah, uh, dash. Well, we didn't manage to roll over Blur another time. Well, dash for sure. Uh, I think we do want to play that Defend. And that will take care of all the block that we need for this turn, so... Good deal. Keep that weakness going. And a daze. Alright, alright. I think we do want all this block. We also want to heal ourselves almost to full at this point. Take a no damage. Alright, dazes are an issue. So we're going to be taking damage this turn. So, oh, actually no, we're not either. Good deal. Thanks, dexterity and such. No need to deal any more damage here. It is completely dead at this point. Um, we're going to concentrate and pitch these so that we can concentrate again. And now we should be real close to just finishing this out this turn with as much energy as we have unless we hit a daze. And we're going to take a bunch of damage. Doggone you dazes. It's a real shame that artifact does not prevent them from adding cards to your deck. Nine energy wasted there. Well, that for sure. And again, the dazes are being very not good to us. Alright, 27 incoming. And we have another daze. Luckily, we do manage to get enough block to absorb that. Or most of it, anyway. Yep. Ooh, was really afraid when it started doing all that damage that the dazes were going to be the death of us, but we got there. And how much damage do we do? 621. Probably not a real high score as far as all this goes. Can we see how we place? Right, right, right. Can we not see... Our placement? Okay, here we go. Floor reach 51. Relics. Right, this tells all about our deck and everything, but where do we see our placement? Embark? We don't want to embark, we did it. Does it not show our placement? Leaderboards? Um... Type... Best win streak, high score, fastest victory... Silent? Okay... I don't know how to actually see our, uh, how we compare to everybody else on the daily. So maybe I'm just overlooking something, or maybe one of you guys knows and can tell me in the comments. That would be awesome. Anyway, this was an unexpected surprise. We'll probably just go back to doing Ascension from now on, unless I see a daily that seems especially interesting. So next time, we'll definitely get into the Ironclad Ascension run that I thought was going to be this episode before I got distracted. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, let me know in the comments. And by leaving a like below, it really does help tremendously. And of course, subscribe if you'd like to see more in the future. I have been Teferon, and until next time, friends, be excellent to each other.